guys. Happy Sunday. We'll wait just a minute just to let anyone else join. I'll wait a couple more minutes, just in case. Okay, we will get started and anyone else that joins can just catch up then. But hi, I hope you had a great weekend. Um, Today is going to be a little bit different than my normal live streams. Um, I'm actually going to talk about some home stuff. So definitely new for me here, kind of new for me all around because I literally just moved out. So I'm kind of just discovering my like home style. Um, so I'm really excited. I think I have some really cool things to share and yeah, we will just get right into it. Just as a reminder, anything that you purchased from today's live stream that I've linked um, in the little circle with the four squares in it will be 15% off for the live and then for 30 minutes following. So if you need anything uh, new for your house, definitely make sure that you're shopping. Um, also, I've linked some extras. Um, I will talk about one candle. I just want to note that I did link some extra candles that look great. I, of course, can't say anything about the scent of those because I haven't personally smelled them myself, but they look like something that I would like. So I've linked them for you if you want to take a look. Um, but the theme of today is going to be entertaining in style. So like I said, I'm kind of new to the whole home, does like home interior design type thing. Um, I can't really say that I've entertained all that much, but I think these would be great things for entertaining. So... Um, I'm excited and we will just get right into it. I think I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with this. Um, also, like I said, this is my first time talking about home stuff. So if I'm like missing any important details or I'm not pointing out the right things, like definitely let me know, ask questions because this is new for me. So I'm kind of learning as I go. Um, but we're first gonna talk about, I've popped it up on the screen. So it's actually, I guess you, I guess it's called dinnerware because that's how they have it. So I have linked this bowl for, or I popped this bowl up for you. So I'll talk about this one first, but I did pick up, uh, I don't think it's a full set, but it's, I've gotten two plates and this bowl. So um, I will talk about all three, but we'll start with this bowl. So it's just a really, really nice, Postable, I guess you'd call it. That's what I call it. Again, I'm like very new to this. So if I'm saying anything wrong, just bear with me. Um, yeah, perfect for salad or pasta. I think it's a really, really nice size. It's really nice if you want to have something like salad or pasta, especially because salad, this might be weird, but I don't like to eat salad on like a plate. I feel like it's really messy and it yeah, you really don't realize how much the shape matters until you try to make a salad. It's so true. And a, a flat plate, I just feel like your salad is flying everywhere while you eat it. Like, there's nothing keeping it in. So something like this where it's kind of a flatter bowl, it's almost like a plate, literally, with just edges. Like, it's less of a round, a rounded bowl shape. Um, I really, really like it. It's also really big, so you can actually fit, like, a portion in here that's going to keep you full. Um, before this, I only had like tiny, tiny cereal bowls. And to eat a salad out of that is like three bites. And you might as well not even have eaten it because it was so tiny. So something like this is really nice because it's big enough. Um, it's kind of like an imperfect edge. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it, it's not like, it's kind of like a little bit squiggly obviously intentionally, um, but just to note that the style of it is definitely a little bit more like, um, I guess I would say, I kind of want to describe it as like less of a modern like style, 
where it's very much so like clean lines and like no imperfections. This is a little bit like this has a little bit more character, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, so just to note that if you're looking at this, it's also a really nice like charcoal color. I wouldn't say it's like white black, but it's definitely more than gray. That fingerprint is from me right now. Um, it's definitely more than like a gray, like it's a really nice charcoal color. Another thing about this that I love, yeah, the, is the color. The black is so nice. It looks really nice when you put food in it, which sounds crazy, but like if you put like a really nice colorful salad in this, it just looks really like chic. Like if you were to serve guests a meal with this, I think it looks really, really nice. Even if it's like the type of thing that you literally save for when you have guests, because it just looks a lot nicer than like a plain white, like clean plate. Um, I think is just great. And if you had like, I don't know, just imagine like a nice table set with like lots of candles and like dim lighting and everyone's drinking wine. That's the vibe, I think, with something like this. So I really, really love it. Uh, like I said, this bowl has been great. We've used it so much since I got it. Um, I didn't really realize how much I needed a, something like this until I had it. And now I feel like I can't live without it ever again. So I definitely recommend this. It's great. The quality is great too. Um, so I love it. So here's the bowl. Next up, I got, let me pop it up for you. Um, I think it, it is these. Also, I should mention that these three pieces are sold separately, but they're sold in sets of four. So you don't have to buy individual plates. They're, it's a set of four. Um, this one, again, sorry for the fingerprints. I'm touching, I'm like, holding them like this but um this one is a much smaller I guess I guess is is this like a salad plate I don't I don't know I'm new to this but I would consider this like I would eat a salad out of the other one but this might be called a salad plate or it would be like a dessert plate is what I would think of it as but it's just a little bit smaller um as you can see this is like a full dinner plate and this is the smaller one so Really, really great just for like, I feel like I'm always reaching for these when I have just like breakfast or a snack or like if I'm having a piece of toast, I'm not grabbing that big plate, like just something like this. Really, really nice. Again, like I said, um, the edges are a little bit like squiggly. Um, so it has a really, really nice look. Um, the same great charcoal color. Um, yes, dessert or a lunch plate. Okay, got it. They are dishwasher safe. I've put these in the dishwasher a million times because I am too lazy to hand wash. <laughs> so, and they're perfect still. So yes, they will be totally fine in the dishwasher. Um, I don't think there are anything else, any other notes on it, but you could tell, you could just like tell how nicely made they are because I almost feel like when something is imperfect, like you can see this is like imperfect. It feels more like, luxurious almost because it feels like it was like handmade and like a lot of time went into it rather than just like a factory was doing it you know um I don't know anything about that with these but that's just the feeling that I get when you have a little bit more of that like imperfect look so I really like that um and then moving on to the dinner plate let me pop it up for you Again, a set of four, and this is literally just a larger version of that small plate. So really, really nice. Again, looks so nice when you put food on it. When you put like colorful food on it, it just pops off the black. So if like the, the presentation of your meal is something that's important to you, I really, really love this. Um, it looks great when you cook, and I think that that's like part of food is visual. So I think that having something like this where it looks so nice and just like elegant when you present it is really nice, especially if you're hosting guests. It's kind of just like that extra touch where everyone will be like, oh my gosh, look at your plates. I'm obsessed with them. Where'd you get them? Like, you know, it's kind of like it can be a talking, something to talk about rather than just a white plate. So I love these. Love this set. We have every time we have had someone over, we've fed them on these plates and they always compliment them. So um, like I said, I'm not much of an entertainer like for parties, but we do have guests and they all love these. Um, so I highly recommend and the quality is great. They feel really nice. I love the color. They're great. Um, 
I will move on to our next item because I don't want to run out of time here. So let me do, I'll pull up this one. Okay, so the next, um, the next item that I'm gonna talk about is definitely different. Um, let me take a sip of water. And this is something that I actually think would make a really great gift. Um, so it is this, I may mispronounce it, but Ulo wine purifier. And so obviously you just put this over your glass. I've actually taken out a wine glass so you can see the fit. It fits like perfectly over your glass. Pour your wine in it and it makes a, your glass of wine taste really, really great. Um, but the other thing that I love about this one is that it chills your wine. So you might be able to tell this is like, it has like condensation on the outside of it because I actually just pulled it out of the freezer so that I could tell you guys about it. So you keep this in the freezer and when you pour your wine through it, it chills it to the perfect temperature for wine drinking, which I think is so awesome. It's so like when you're drinking a glass of wine, you don't want to put ice in it. I think especially wine rather than any other, like rather than like a cocktail, you don't want to like water down your wine. That just is very strange. Um, so to have this purifier that chills it as you pour it to the perfect temperature is just so cool. I just loved that about it. It's definitely a little bit of a splurge, but again, I think this is a really, really great gift. I mean, we all know, I, I think we all have someone in our life that loves wine. Like there's always someone that really loves wine. So rather than getting them a bottle, like pick this up and it makes every bottle that they drink taste so much more amazing. So I really, really love this. Um, yeah, such a great hostess gift. Um, again, if there's someone in your life that loves wine, rather than getting them a bottle of wine like everyone else does, like be the person that shows up with this and they will love you. Um, I also think that it came with, I want to say, four um, filters. So you do obviously have to put filters in these. Um, I think you can reuse them. So... Um, you can pour it, clean it, and then put it back in. And I think you can do it for, I think you can use it for 24 hours, I want to say you can use the filter for, um, before you need to change it. But I love this. Um, so you also can, it also has these settings. It has, um, I don't know if you could see these. This is obviously to like unlock it so you can clean it. But um, it has this for just like regular wine, like still. Um, and then you have this for anything bubbly. It does say it doesn't recommend purifying anything with bubbles, but if that's your thing, I think that it does have a setting for that. Um, so it's really, really great. It's, I think it's a really unique gift as well. Um, I don't think this is something that everyone's going to show up with. I mean, maybe someone has a wine purifier, but they certainly don't have one that chills their glass or that chills the wine as it pours into their glass. So I just think that this is such a unique gift. It also looks really like sleek and clean. Um, if you want to keep it like out on your counter, like if you're buying it for yourself and you want to keep it out on your counter, I think that it looks really nice. Like it's not looking really cluttered and messy, by the way, because they've kept it really like clean. Like it has this nice stand that it sits on. So it's great. Um, you also might want to keep it in your freezer like I do this way. When you pour it out, it chills your wine. Obviously, if you like to drink like red wine a little bit warmer or at like more of a room temperature, you don't have to you don't have to put it in the freezer and it will just pour out room temperature. Um, but I always think that like having it a little bit chilled is so great. So I love that. Um, I believe the pamphlets. Oh, it also, sorry, I'm scatterbrained right now. It also comes with a really, really nice case. I, I have mine away right now. I forgot to take it out in all honesty to show you, but it comes with a really, really great case. Like you can just tell the quality when you get this in the mail, the quality is amazing. It, it actually, it does actually chill it. Yes. Like it's not, it's not cold, but it chills it. I think I think it said the ideal wine drinking temperature is like 62 degrees Fahrenheit or something along those lines. Um, 
So it chills it to that as it comes out. And you can tell it takes like a little, like it takes a little bit of time for the wine to come out. So it's definitely doing its job um, as you're pouring it. Um, like I said, it comes in really, really nice packaging. So it has like a, a case if you wanted to pack, like maybe you only want to use it for red wine in the winter. If you want to like pack it up for the summer, it does have a really, really nice case as well. I'm sorry that I didn't take it out. I just, it's, it's been a weekend. I had a day, so, um, I honestly just forgot, but it also, the, the pamphlet has like tons of information in it, which I think is really cool as well. Um, yeah, such a great gift with a bottle of wine for like the wine drinker in your life. Especially because I feel like when someone likes wine, like everyone tends to just get them a bottle of wine because it's like, well, they love it and it's an easy gift. And you know, like, oh, it's a nice bottle. So that it's a splurge. But something like this is really great because they can keep it. Like a bottle of wine is ob obviously great, but you drink it and then it's gone. So like a gift like this, they're getting to enjoy for years probably. Um, so really, really nice gift. I also think this brand has some more um, products. I think they have a purifier that doesn't chill the wine, if that's something that you're into. Um, oh, yay, I'm glad you got it. Um, they also have a purifier that goes into a decanter, I believe. Um, that one's a bit pricier, but again, a great gift. Um, so really, really great product. I love drinking wine, so, and I, I think, I think a lot of people do. So I think that something like this is just a really nice treat. And again, for hosting kind of the theme of today for entertaining, it's really nice to serve your guests like a nice chilled glass of wine. Um, obviously it'll be purified, so it'll taste great. Um, and again, I think it's just, it's something that everyone will say like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Where'd you get that? I love it. Like. So just one of those things that you can kind of impress people with, you know, that's what, that's always the goal. Um, so I love that. If you have any more questions on it, definitely let me know. I am going to hop to our last item, but I'm happy to come back to anything and answer any questions if I may have missed anything. Um, okay, so the last item that I'm going to talk about is a candle. I feel like we couldn't have um, a live stream about entertaining or hosting without something along the lines of a candle, like some, some sort of a candle or a scent. I am the type of person that when someone comes over to my house or to my apartment, I need like 50 candles lit because I'm like, I need it to smell great when they walk in. My worst nightmare is someone being like, oh my gosh, her house stunk. Like that is the worst thing I could ever think of happening. So I'm like a crazy person and I light a candle in every single room. Um, so I of course had to pick up a nice candle to share with you guys. I went with this one because I thought that it looked really, really nice. Like in addition to being a great candle, it just looked really nice. So it's obviously this nice like gold jar and then it has a like marble-ish um, lid. The candle is, I believe, yeah, mandarin rosemary. It, smell, it smells really great. It almost reminds me of a little bit of a masculine scent. I know it's kind of hard to explain scents. This is probably like kind of annoying to listen to, but it smells really, really nice and like masculine. Like, yeah, that's like, it's like reminding me of, um, like an aftershave that my dad would wear that I think smells really good because it, I don't know, like men's things smell good. So it's really, really nice. Um, just a note, I did get this when it was really, really hot out. So it came a tiny bit melted. That is not anything to do with the candle itself. That is just literally because it was like 90 degrees when it was delivered. But that's why the top is looking like that. It was it was no problem. It was happening to everything at that time. Um, but just as a, if you're wondering why it looks like that, that's why. But like no problem at all. It was in the middle of summer. Um, but yeah, really great scent. Again, I think something like this is a great gift. We all have someone that loves candles in our lives. 
and are looking for nice, ho yeah, nice gifts for them. Um, it's definitely a little bit of a splurge for a candle, I think. I mean, you're getting a great price off the live stream, but full price $45 is a bit steep for a candle, in my opinion. Um, but I definitely think it's worth it. Again, it's like decor. Like, you're not just getting a candle. You're getting a really nice, like, you could put this on your coffee table, and it looks so nice. Like, rather than just that regular, like, glass jar candle with the writing on the front that we all get from like TJ Maxx or Home Goods, you know? Um, I think that something like this is really, really nice. Maybe you keep it on your coffee table and only light it when you have guests. So it's like your special occasion candle. Um, I just think that that's really nice. It can be really nice to have pieces like this that are obviously functional and you're using them, but they also look nice in your space. Um, you could also totally yeah, it definitely looks like something you would see at Anthropology. It definitely has that kind of vibe, um, which is really, really nice. I know everyone loves their home stuff, so finding something like this on sale is great. Um, you could also totally, when you burn the entire candle, I've seen people like wash out their jar and use it for something else or just like continue to keep it as decor. You could totally do that with this um, because it is so pretty and like, I don't know, you just, you wouldn't wanna, you wouldn't wanna get rid of this. You could also totally rinse it out and use it like in your bathroom even with like Q-tips or something in it, you know, like something like that. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. It smells really great. I also think that scents that are a little bit more masculine are nice because like I live with my boyfriend, so he doesn't want like, I don't, think he wants like a floral scent necessarily all the time so something like this is nice because it kind of pleases everyone like it it just smells good you know there's no again something like floral I think is a little bit um can be a little bit more like personal uh as to whether or not you like the scent so I think that a smell like this where it's like more masculine everyone likes it honestly I've never met a person who doesn't like that kind of smell so I love that. It's really, really nice. Um, I know the name of it is Mandarin Rosemary. I don't know that I'm necessarily getting any sort of citrus out of it. I definitely think a little bit more of the rosemary, but yes, it definitely gives off scent when, you, when it's lit. That's very true. Some candles smell in the jar and don't like give off a lot of smell in the room. That's really annoying. This one does, it smells great when you light it and in the jar. So you're not paying for something that does nothing for your room. We actually just bought a candle that has no smell when you light it. And I was so mad because it's such a waste. This one smells great when you light it. So don't worry about that. Um, I'm not sure, let's see if it says the number. I don't think it says the number of burn hours. Um, it's really nice, yeah. And I think it is the type of thing that would last um, a long time when you light it. And again, I think it's a nice candle to, to save as kind of like your special occasion candle where you kind of just set it out and it looks nice um, while you have it out. And then when you have guests over, you decide to light it. Or like around the holidays, you'll light it. Like some, some special occasion. I think it's nice to do that with some things where you like save them and really, really appreciate when you use them. So... I love that for that. Um, so I know we're kind of nearing the end. Um, definitely let me know if you have any more questions. Um, I hope I explained everything well. Like I said, home stuff is definitely new to me, but I'm really, really enjoying like kind of finding my style with it. Um, and I really love all of these things. So um, yeah, so fun. My, my show next week will also be a home show just to let you know. Um, I have some more really great finds um, that I'm excited to share. But one more note on the candle before I forget. I said this in the beginning, but I think a couple more people have joined since I said it. Um, I did link a bunch of candles that look really great if you want to check them out. I haven't obviously smelled them for myself, so I can't say much on the scent of those. I'm sure they're wonderful based on the description, but... Just to let you know, I have linked them, but I haven't 
physically smelled them myself. So if you would like to try them out, I would definitely love to hear how they are because I'm always looking for more candles. Like I said, I'm crazy with that and I like always have to have one lit because I can't stand the idea of my space not smelling nice. Um, but just to let you know if you decide to pick any of those up. Um, I haven't tried them out yet, but they seem great. Um, so yeah, that was all I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for joining. Um, just as a reminder, anything that you pick up from today's live stream and you have 30 minutes following, so until eight o'clock will be 15% off. I've linked a bunch of stuff that I love in the, um, the circle with the four squares in it. You can see all of the products that I linked. Um, if you have any more questions on anything, definitely let me know. Um, feel free to like DM me on Instagram or TikTok or wherever. If you have a question on anything, I'm happy to chat and answer it. Um, definitely make sure that you're following me on the Vera Shop app. This way you can see all of my future live streams. Um, exciting news. I will be continuing live streaming until I think December. So, um, initially la next week was going to be my last show, but I have decided to continue. So I will be, um, with you guys until December, which I'm really excited about. Um, next week I'll be doing another home show. Um, make sure you're following me on, I'm trying to think of everything. Make sure you're following me on Vera Shop. My username is Christina underscore Alfano. Um, make sure you're following me on Instagram. My username is again, Christina underscore Alfano. Um, my TikTok is K Alfano. I obviously post lots of fashion stuff everywhere because that's what I mainly focus on. Um, but I'm kind of starting to add, sprinkle in some home stuff and some lifestyle stuff. So especially on my Instagram stories. So if you are interested in that, definitely make sure that you are following. Um, and I think that's it. So thank you so much for hanging with me. I'm glad you came. I had such a great time and I hope you have a really great Sunday. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.